What's the name of that one, Jim? That's called Cherokee Bill. I wrote that at Bill Monroe's house one day, and he really liked it. He thought it was funny. I called it Cherokee Bill, because Bill says he's part Cherokee. Cherokee Bill. Well, that's it. It's perfect. It's real perfect. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. This is Jack Daniels' breakdown. <laughs> number two.
Let's play the Pueblo Rag. Pueblo Rag. Going home to Louisiana. Sometimes I find that I think I'm going out of my mind Then I realize I'm not the only one I know I've got to go, but it's been fun doing the show I hope you call me on the phone I'm going home to Louisiana You know it's always summertime around there I'm going home to Louisiana, good gal Someday I hope I'll see you there snow flurries on this good old road of life so think of me when you're at high tea and wonder how it really could be when you're alone late at night oh I'm going home to Louisiana you know it's always summertime around there I'm going home to Louisiana good gal someday I hope I see you there oh good gal Someday I hope I see you there. Right on. I'm glad I heard it. What do you think, Bill? What's the difference? Well, no, it's the same, but I accept the change. I don't like the name Whiskey and Pussy Number Five for that okay. one. I would change the name to something else. <laughs> 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 what was that? Pussy and Whiskey. Yeah. Going home to Louisiana. Uh, going to play, huh? Yeah, you like You're on a roll, roll, man. You're on a roll. Spit them all out. You ready? How do you train that dog to sit up there in front of you like that? Make you look good. There's a lot of alpo and a lot of love. <laughs> a little bit of sausage. Yeah, sausage. Save them from the alligator. 
Yeah, well, he saved me from alligator. You wouldn't believe the shit I saved him from. Louisiana Alligator Dog Society. Chairman. Huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah, he wanted a big medal. <laughs> what is that? Medal of Courage. Medal of Courage. For, for chomping for, an alligator? Yeah, uh-huh. Here, Doc. Alligator. Put your medal on. Do you eat a, a, a alligator meat? Right. Did oh. you feed him any alligator, Jim? Oh, alligator's yeah. the best. Oh, yeah, the heart. The Medal of Courage. You wear Doc Watts Booty. He's in charge of the Literary Society now. <laughs> I show these people in holding Spanish. Okay. That dog's eyes are just open. It's like talk oh. Tarzan in Spanish. Mm, he does it all. Doc Watson. Now that's a pretty big bite to not be missing anything in there. Surface scratch. He's a powerful dog. That gator couldn't penetrate the ribs. Did he save you from the gator? Yes, he did. Rock and roll. He was take, just take a bite of me. Doc dove into his mouth. <laughs> held it up like this. And held it up? Yeah, yeah. Got me out of there. Rolled my fat, drunken ass out of the way. Did y'all cook the gator later and eat it? We ate it raw. Oh, sushi. Heart and liver. And you didn't name him Lucky? Gator sushi. No, it's not the first time Doc saved my life. He saved my life several times. Cigarettes burning in the bed and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing real. What did he do? Just Nothing bark and get you up or did he put the cigarette out? Both. Awesome. <clears throat> This one's called the Dogs of Jorunta. They had these dogs, you know, and we beat up on the Taliban in Afghanistan. They found some videotapes of these people practicing poisoning dogs. It really pissed me off, made me say it too. They were killing dog watchers and looking dogs, you know, with poison gas and stuff. These Taliban, these Islam, Muslim, they be all incinerated times. That's right. Yeah, anyway, this is the dogs of Toronto.
beautiful. No, oh, it's inspired. My pal showed up. Good God, man. Well, I want you to hear. I want to hear you play you who. I don't either. I'll figure it out. Too. How many songs did we, did we write and forget? A lot more than we wrote and remember. I get to that. Write my own song. I thought that's better than learning the song they were trying to show me out of a book that all the other kids played. Instead, they got kissed. So I got rid of my teacher. How old were you? Five. Five? Five. Playing piano. Yeah, I fired my teacher before I was six. Do you remember the song you wrote? Lots of them. When you were five? Sure. We don't have a piano in here, do we? Yeah, we do. Actually. Oh, there's a keyboard on the other side? Yeah, we have to set up. I need a keyboard. Hmm. We're real fancy. We don't know how to use it. That was probably uh, pussy and root beer at that part. Point for us. Breast milk, pussy. Yeah, it was root beer and football. But I quit when I was seven because I found out about football and girls. I thought piano was decided the sissy thing to do. At five? No, at seven. Oh. You were in the cutting edge. Uh, were you ever a fan of Jerry Lee? I always have been still. Yeah. I seen his last show at the Ryman about six months ago. Eight months ago. That's great. Who do you first remember listening to who you really got excited about? You wouldn't believe it. That's where I maybe get my melody head from. And that's Herb Albert and T1 Brown. Yeah. That's the first stuff you listened to. Yep. First records I ever bought. Huh. Huh. Did you get to know him at all? Mm. No, I was just a little kid. Herb Alpert and Tijuana Brass. Yeah, there's another guy doing the same thing. His name was Jim something. I can't remember his name, but I actually had his record first. And then I got Herb Alpert. And that got you into what after that? Oh, it got me wanting to play it on the piano. Music like that. Melodies. And then I really quickly went into John May Hall, the blues breakers. Oh. Stuff like that. And Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee. Got into blues real big with a harmonica. So I was playing the harmonica and the piano together a lot. Bill, we went into Kentucky Lake. Now Chuck's mother. I can't I remember how far we went up uh, here on Nashville. Did you? What, what year is it? I think that's where we went. Is it Dodge? Is that where it was? Yeah. 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 But we went up to St. Paul, Paul, Minneapolis. Real rare yeah, model that made for just a couple of years. Oh, oh, it's pretty up there. Who did it come stop to those pipes? Yeah. yeah. It's just gorgeous. Kids. We'd huh? sit there on oh, it's rare model. during the day. Wow. We were 21, 22. Oh, yeah. Where'd you find that? Shit, man. Yeah, and they pay us money to, yeah. to do what shop, you do. Yeah. Pay us money just. Yeah. It was at a pawn shop? Oh, yeah. Bar down front, guy hunting. At that time, the Coke machine started here. $1,450. Yeah. Wow. We were we were growing reefer in the Runs summer. pretty well, too, doesn't it? My, my house is right on the banks of the Cumberland. I saw start. the Mississippi Queen uh, Thursday. Runs all the way out by the house. Huh? When we come but Jim, do you ever tell these guys the venison story? Three in the morning, there'd be two hundred people out you know, there. No, I used to do that, but now the homeland security. Here, you make your milk commercial. That team in '86 or '7. Yeah, that team is milk commercial. That's pretty good. The original got milk. All right. Mm -hmm. That was your springboard to start them. Yeah. Yeah, more or less. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah, been good ever since. Where's them hot links, man? They still clean? They're in, in an ice chest as long as Bill hadn't opened the lid. We're okay. You just tell me when I was... You won't come look Where I need to start a fire and... I see the fire thing. What it is, I got one of them double grills. Mm -hmm. 
Or you can put fire in the box and then just cover this other box with meat, you know. Can do. We can do that. I figured that would make real good and smoky. And we we'll cook them up. There's and about do. 60 dozen of them. You might want to freeze some of them. Oh, we're going to freeze most of them. Yeah, yeah. We got, we've been making a hole in the freezer all day today, throwing yeah. junk out. Well, it's so a nice just full. Uh-huh. Cool. That's just what I was hoping to see. I got all of them I could put in the ice chips. All right, 60 dozen? Probably. Yeah. There's 30 pounds of them. 30 pounds. Two dozen in a pound. Six dozen yeah. and a half. Uh, every pan, every dozen is a couple of pounds, I imagine. They're probably it's fifteen up. dozen, I bet. Okay. We'll go count. We'll go count. But so you joined up. You joined up years later. I was perfectly safe from it when I joined. Oh, okay. Yeah. When were you in the were you in the Navy? I was in the Navy from seventy six to eighty. It's hard to do. <clears throat> Great time to be a military man. You got to see the world, didn't you? Got to go home because he said you smoked pot. Because <laughs> his son did, so they let everybody else do it. I smoked pot, okay, we well, get on with this charge and go home. They just, they just kept your ass in, in the sub, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, until I told him I smoked pot and they let me go to the Okay. <clears throat> did you have to go to him and say, Hey guys, I smoked last night. Oh, I brought my bong. I, I borrowed a bong from some guy and a whole bunch of seeds and stems. And I brought about a half a pound of some seeds and sticks. So I got a problem. <laughs> you might think it's just dope. Got a problem on my mouth, huh? Yeah, I got a problem to y'all. Let me go home. <laughs> then my problem will be solved. I'll get off these drugs. <laughs> it's the pressures of suffering. It's making me want to be a drug addict. Yeah. And oops, he's drug act and he lose your security clearance. Right. Lose security clearance, yeah. you can't go on a submarine. Can't get so on you're a off. submarine. Yeah. You're off, whatever, whether you get out or not. If you're off in a submarine. Jim, this photo behind your head up here, who's in Who's in there with you, the two guys with the big beards? Oh, well, that's uh, Cal Roberts, Pulitzer Prize winning photographer, and an old fellow named T Bone. He's an old Hollywood stand in extra guy. Joy Ford of the Bell Cove Club, Bill Monroe on his 84th and last birthday. And me. That's a hell of a photo. Yeah, that's a good picture. Who took it? Uh, I don't remember. How about this other one with the, with you uh, playing acoustic guitar and someone stand, playing stand-up bass? Yeah, that's in Mexico. My older brother, he took that. Years and years ago, back in the 70s. I like your mic stand. Yes, he's hot. <laughs> In the bikes? Yeah, on bikes. They run them inside. <laughs> and then all their graffiti and stuff. And there's a... Um, this place has been written up in, a, um, in Tony Horowitz's book, Confederates in the Attic. Really He's got a whole, a whole paragraph about this yeah. place in it. I'll read it later. I'll do my dramatic reading. That's right. <laughs> oh, good. You got your shirt on, huh? Like, yeah. How did you save Doc after that alligator? I forget. Staples. Staple them on up, super glue in places. Hey. Did, you ever told anybody that story when we were at that bar down below, uh, down below New Orleans, down, down, one, down out in the middle of nowhere in one of these lakes down below New Orleans, and we were playing, and uh, they had free alligator meat, fried alligator, alligator hamburgers, all the alligator you could eat, a little place on the bayou, and after Jim and I played, some of the girls in that bar kind of took a liking to us and were real friendly and we want to take a motorcycle ride. And we get out to the car and somebody had taken an axe to the car. Uh-oh. You remember the big old axe? Mark? I, I was in that old blue, blue 60. I remember, old shit, old Ford. Ford, right, 64. Yeah, it looked 65, like showing uh, somebody hit it with a damn axe. They actually sliced the body work. 
Mm-hmm. So I used to, I mean, that's old Detroit steel there, thick, heavy duty steel. And they put an axe to it, kind of like. You sure I didn't back up into something and tell uh, you? No, you no, no. Well, you did you? Did you? Uh uh-uh. uh. I guess I he wanted to leave an impression on you, didn't I you? think so. Yeah. Get, get away from our girls. Mm hmm. There you go, baby. Uh, it's your birthday apple pie. All right. And your birthday joke one. It's not going to do nothing to you. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. All say happy birthday to yeah. Jim. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jim. Happy birthday to you. 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 And we wish you many more. Yeah! Woo! Cool. How about that? All right, then. Thunder horns up. <laughs> yeah, well, this, this, uh, these two presents are from Nick, from Nick and I. There's the first one there. Yeah. Doesn't feel like whiskey. <laughs> 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 what do you say? <laughs> what did you say, Father? Doesn't feel, Doesn't feel like whiskey. Oh, no, I got you after Father's Day. That's our brown flag. Yeah. <laughs> It's a purse, man. It's a purse. <laughs> man well, purse. that's your man purse. <laughs> man purse. Is that a fatty pack? Are you an idiot? Guess what? He always wants a fatty pack. He's a European man. <laughs> <right. laughs> Nick and I did absolutely clever on it. Hmm. Well, this might be wasted here. <laughs> 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 Hey, Desmo. Oh, we run if they drink now. Wow. This is a digital recorder camera. Yeah. What am I to do with that? Take and so, so you can you can take stills, you can take movies, or you can record your audio. Yeah, it's got stereo mics in the front. Wow. And so and, and Ryan, all you do is stick it stick it, it near you, stick out out there in front of you, and it, it'll record sound better than CD quality. Wow. You know. And that's here. Here's yep. a pen if you want to pop it. And you can take those pictures for your eBay stuff. Yeah, it takes oh, it's got photos photos yeah. the pictures. Oh, I didn't do that. Yeah. Still not that oh. oh, wow. Well, that's it. Maybe the end of it. That's a famous man in there. Card full. Thanks. This was that one. Okay. That was just belonged to Scotty Stoneman. Yeah. Uh, the Stoneman uh, family. Yeah. Hey, could you go put this yeah. on his computer? What about little Donald Stoneman, Stoneman man? Anything? Yeah. <laughs> I won't be bad for you. I like that. Yeah, I got off the plane in Austin, Texas, and I give everybody a cap Did you give him the fruit cake he gave you? I think so. Oh my god. <laughs> I never give nobody a fruit cake. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> you're not that kind of person. I know, I got tired but of your son <laughs> is. <laughs> I got tired of using it for door stops and everything else. So I said, hell. You know, I had to recycle. Man, Can you really the thing got ripped up, but here you go. Here's a card from us. We And we ripped it up for you. Yeah. We already we opened it. it we opened up. <laughs> it doesn't have any money in it, Jim. So it's the same thing we got you last year. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. So now you got a pair of it. <laughs> we just signed it. <laughs> the air biscuit. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, you got a CD for, for your birthday. How's that? Go. Yeah. How's that? That's it. (laughs) That's pretty cool.
same damn ride Like a little thing I'm quit and dying Then I go back home Girl, you're not there You want to get up here, Jim? Mm-mm. You want to make room for you? Oh, yeah. Or how, or how about this chair? I need to get away from this thing. Here yeah, this portion of the show brought to you by Nan's Apple Pie and Ice Cream. Good as it always is to the very last little crumb on your plate. And don't forget her legal Somebody services. The, my, the, the mice go hungry around don't here. The legal services. Right? The mice go hungry around here when it comes to apple We'll get you divorced and bankruptcy and last everything. One stop shop for divorce and bankruptcy. <laughs> you know, I played at a place one time. It was called the. Uh, it was called the something or another and lawnmower repair shop. It was called the Dixieland Delight. Yeah, the Dixieland Hall and lawnmower Dixieland. repair shop. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Dixieland Delight, yeah, dance, dance hall, and lawnmower repair, repair shop. shop. It was a doozy now. <laughs> remember, had a dirt can, floor, man. It shocked the heck out of me. Remember, it come up a rain and they had a can on the pool table. Keep the pool yeah. table get wet. Point that old son. Huh? Walk up here, dude. Meet me at the front door when yeah, I finally make it home. Okay, let's do let's do slay it back on the highway. Let's do cornbread and tapes. Let's do whatever y'all want to do then. And then we'll do wreck on the highway. <laughs> All right. What do you think? I don't care. I just want to make sure Jim. Yeah, let's eat first. Say <laughs> 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 what? Let's eat first. Let's <laughs> eat. Let's eat first. All right, gonna get G. All right. All right, G. I'll talk with you, at. That's fiddle, that's fiddle the groove, ain't it? Yeah. I can't get no job cause the times is rough. Small tires on my pickup truck and my old lady left me with just one thing. Here I got my guitar and bold I sang. Here my hole in my blue king, the hole in my shoe. Got me a case of them blue ribbon blues and I know I'm going. Fill it all with my pen. Call if Hank can do this, son, it can be done again. Quit cornbread, bread is a cornbread thing. And nothing ain't half as bad as it seems. I'm still fooling around, pretty little girl I know. I know, I know. Get a pick up, the opera at my radio. Now I went 
down the natural thought it's where I belong, y'all to have what it took. Wasn't that long, the songs I sang, long they just would not sing. I still got my guitar, and I'm hungry as a way. Oh, comrade, tell me, comrade, me, nothing ain't that bad. I'm still fooling around with a pretty little girl I know. I know, I know. Yeah, pick up Leonard Skinner on my stereo. that you can You wear where you've been like a skin Oh, but it sure feels good again Roadhouse patina is just another shade of blue so dark
Yeehaw. Yeah, no, I just started doing it in last year too. It's fun. I love it. I love it. Shit, I got a bunch of them. I can play really fast. I can rip them off on this guitar well, here. Go for it. We're rolling. I'm rolling, Jeff. Some, give me a drink. Somebody get me a cold drink. I'll get you one. What kind of drink do you want? Man, I don't know. Uh, any old drink. Uh, water, uh, whiskey, wine. <laughs> That's a pretty one, isn't it? Yeah, this is like something off of like uh, combat. This is like the Jetsons. Yeah, it's the 50s, the 60s. Man, that guitar amp sounds great. That guitar. You know? What a treasure, huh? That's awesome. It's a yeah. 1960 Fender Harvard, Tweed Harvard. Looks like you refinished it. No. no. <laughs> it's, all, it's original old amp. You get original guitar, original amp, but it sounds like, like that. Looks like cat got to it, didn't it? That 58 sounds rough through this thing too, man. It sounds good. You think a cat got to it? I don't know. It's great because it's cat fights. Cat fights. Yeah. Cat fights. Yeah. I don't know. We come from LA. Great sound though. Lower Alabama. <laughs> Oh man, I sat in a wet chair too. It was terrible. <laughs> the demeanor, but it'll dry out after a while. Jim, we got a good sound going. Yeah, I got another good one right here. 
This one's called Sitting on the Edge of Towns. Dedicated to my old buddy Towns Van Zant. Sitting on the edge of towns. Ain't nobody else around. <laughs> Sitting on the edge of towns. Ain't nobody else around. That's the way it goes. You wanna hear it? I'll I'm play it. For you. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hope it's not a sing along because I don't sing very well. Uh uh-uh, uh, no, no sing alongs. Okay. <laughs> it was just like this. E. Do, do, do. Living on the edge of towns. <laughs> That's music down. Yeah, what, what's, what, what were the lyrics? I'm waiting on the edge of towns. There ain't nobody else around. I'm waiting on the edge of towns. Still ain't nobody else around. And I don't know. It's got some more to it. I don't remember. I'm sure it sings about Doc Watson and shit. Oh, yeah. Doc Watson's in there. <laughs> Doc Watson's laying down. He's sitting on the edge of towns. Waiting for him to come around. <laughs> you want to go to acoustic or you want to go to uh, any other instrument? Uh uh-uh, uh, that's a good thing to get them. That was awesome, man. Uh, you got great tone on that amp. Yeah, yeah, it sounds good. It's pretty good to me. I love it. What's the story with the hat? This is John Hartford's hat. A friend of his gave it to me. Went after John died, and this guy was tasked with clearing out his house and everything. And uh, by golly, I wound up with a hat. I would probably pass it along, you know, when I pass along to the next guy. But it's a great hat. It fits me just right. It's perfect on you. It makes me think, feel smart like John Harford, I swear to God. I can d- tune in with him. Well, you ought to sleep with it on. Yeah, I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Wouldn't want to mess it up. Uh-uh. <clears throat> Hartford's Retreat. This is one I wrote for John Hartford. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeehaw. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got any more fiddle tunes? I got a million fiddle tunes. Any that we haven't gotten recorded yet? Lots of them. Pick one. I'm sure. <laughs> Yes, it is. What about Nancy's Lament? Oh, it's trick fiddling. I couldn't use it in the contest. Okay. Yeah, I'll try and do that one. You gotta give me a second. I'm not playing very smooth. I'm kind of something or other here. Well, mm. tell us a story then. I got stories. I got lots of stories. <laughs> I wouldn't know where to start. Venison? Yeah, I got a good venison story. Lots of them. But the best one is when I was having my big divorce party, the second big divorce party. That was in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, at Pole Cat Holler, you know. And uh, I had a whole bunch of people wanting to come and have a big time, you know, celebrate my uh, big divorce to our old buddy Roy Ann, you know. And, uh, by golly, uh, didn't have no money at all. I had about $6 or something. I said, well, hell, I'm going to go to Kroger and buy me a bunch of chicken leg quarters, you know. Cook those on the grill and cook, get as many as I can for 6 bucks, and that'll be enough for everybody to get a bite of chicken, you know. <clears throat> and on the way down there, it, to make this long story shorter, this big old, uh, uh, old 88 kind of tank of a uh, damn... Uh, uh, them big long cars, you know what you call them. Damn. Lincoln Continental kind of thing? Or no, it like? holds a lot of people. Station wagon. Big old Mercury Marquee station wagon. Hits this big ass deer. Boom! Right in front of us as we're going Kroger, right on Lebanon Road. And I see that deer go flying in a ditch, man. And this guy, he stopped for just a second and it just kept going, you know. I pulled my little convertible over there. And I said, man, it's pennies from heaven. We're going to have us a big old party if I can get this thing in my car somehow. <clears throat> Damn. And I did. I struggled, man. I was going to put him in the trunk. He was dead, stone dead when I got to him. There's an eight point buck. <coughs> and, uh, anyway, I drug him up by the car, and he was heavy. It was tough. And I could not, for the life of me, pick him up and get him in the trunk, get him started in the trunk. Could not do it. I was about to have a heart attack. I was trying so hard and desperately. Cars whizzing by. It's just getting dark, you know. Just getting to be real dark. And I said, damn, I gotta try something. And I said, wait a second. I opened the door of the passenger seat, grabbed him by the antlers and yanked him and I pulled him right across the seats and put him in the front seat, curled him up in there, put his legs up in there on the dash and uh, stood him up. Put a hat on him, didn't you? No, I gave him a cigarette. 
But anyway, went on to Kroger's, man, and got some chickens to go with the venison. I got my neighbor come over there with one of them gamble things on a, what you might call it, that tractor, you know, and lifted it on up in the air where we could skin that deer and get rid of the guts real easy. And, uh, boy, we had us a big-ass party. And, I, and it turned out to be the best party I ever had, just about. I bet 75 people showed up. And it was just crazy. And everybody ate all the deer meat they wanted. I was remarking on the venison, you know. And I started out just everybody was going to get, you know, half a piece of chicken. <laughs> That's my venison story. <laughs> now, I took that deer to Kroger's parking lot. I sure did. Parked him there. Left him there in the car while I went in and got chickens. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Yeah, I heard somebody saying, God, you got an ugly girlfriend. You know? Six dollars about some chicken and a deer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have bought that much venison for six dollars. Mm -mm. Pretty funny stuff. Grand Marquis sale. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, I got a buddy killed more with a Honda and he did a raffle. Are we done for a little while? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was thinking I was going to, I might try something, but I don't know. You're trying to do a camera, huh? Yeah. It works What's great. It Look there. Damn, don't point it that way. Well, here, point my hand. Huh? Here. Break Oh, no, oh, but honey, you look at look at look there. Oh yeah, I don't see nothing black. <laughs> you have to kind of twist it around until it gets right there. How about that? I just see black. I start to see something. I don't know. I got bad light or something here. <coughs> look at the light. Ah, ah. Wow, that's cool. Now you get the picture, don't you? I'm getting it now. There you go, I don't know what to do with that. You'll learn. It's pretty neat. It's easy.